All right, I'm back to build the open JFA, uh, JFX actually from scratch. In the previous video, I built the open JDK8 from source, and I'm, now I'm going to build the open JFX from source. And let me, I'm in my options directory. And you see, I have this open JFX directory that I created in the previous video it should be empty because I haven't used it so before I do anything there are some prerequisite packages for installing the for building the OpenJFX which is just a kind of a GUI toolkit it's supposed to replace swing, Java Swing for building GUIs and I've already copied that so I'm just going to paste it in here all of these should be in, should be installed already because I built the OpenJDK8 from source yeah and everything's installed so now I'm going to clone the repository and the one I, repository I'm going to use is the 8U repository so here it is hg clone http hg.openjdk.net open jfx 8URT open J to my open JFX folder and it shouldn't take okay let's try that again let me make sure I type the right thing Okay, hg.openjdk.java.net openjfx 8urt to open jfx. Okay, now it's doing it. I typed it in wrong. Shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes. And after this is done, I'm going to move on to Gradle, which is an essential component to building the Open JFX.
Hopefully this will be done soon. I'm hoping. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, done. That's good. So now the next thing I need to do is get Gradle. The current version of Gradle is 2.7. That is not the version that is needed to compile the Open JDK. I mean, not Open JDK, Open JFX. The version needed to build the Open JFX is 1.8. So you go to Previous Builds. And you can choose the different ones. I'm going to do this through the command line. So I'm just going to go here. I'm already in my options director. I'm going to wget from HTTP services dot gradle dot org distributions. Gradle 1.8 all dot zip now you see that that Gradle is it indeed on, in the options directory. So now I'm going to unzip it. Unzip minus O. Gradle 1 dash dash 1 dot 8 all dot zip. And now I have a Gradle 1.8 directory and I need to put that in the path temporarily so I'm going to export my path going to equal path my home directory options Gradle dash 1.8 forward slash bin okay now, I also need to change the, let me see, echo, JDK, home, my home, my boot at JDK for building open JDK 8 was the Oracle JDK 1.7 dot zero update 79 that was fine to build open JDK 8 but to build open JFX for JDK 8 I'm going to need a JDK 8 and I'm going to use another version I have or uh, Oracle's version JDK 1.8.0 update 60 and you can see right here 
I made I have two versions one just the regular one and one that I appended the word build to and that's because I've got to delete a file in the JDK 8 so that I can build the open JFX with it so let's go to that file let's see it's in the J go to the JDK build uh, JDK 1.8.0 update 60 build directory and you go to the JRE directory under that you go to the library directory and then you go to the extensions directory and this file right here this jar this JF xrt.jar that has to be deleted or it won't build successfully so I'm just gonna you can rename it but I'm just gonna delete it because I don't need it because I have a copy of this so now that I've done that I'm gonna change the I'm gonna export the JDK home to equal my home options directory JDK 1.8.0 underscore 60 underscore build and I'm going to export the Java home to equal that as well so it's just going to equal the JDK home so now when I echo JDK home I get the correct version that I'm going to use to build the OpenJFX and when I echo the Java home environment variable I get the same thing so that's good so now I'm going to CD to the OpenJFX directory and you can see it has all of the things and it necessary to build the open JFX. So now I can just say let me clear it the screen. And now I can say let me make this a little bigger. Now I can say I can see what Gradle task I have in this directory. All right. Now here are all my Gradle tasks, and the default tasks are the the SDK tasks. And 
and so now I can type other things like great old projects and you'll see the projects And as we saw before, the default tabs were the SDK. So I'm just going to type Gradle and it should build the SDK because that's the default task. Okay, the build was successful for the SDK. Now what I could do next 
it is run from tax um, test to test test to build I'm pretty sure it built everything's it can pass all the tests it takes a while to run tests but you can do those if you want you can type gradle base test like that but I'm, I'm gonna skip that and I'm gonna go to making a JDK overlay which is it's just gonna make me a zip bundle of the files I need to put in my current open JDK 8 directory to have the Java FX capabilities so what I'm gonna do now I only compiled it for my Linux system so I didn't do any cross compile so all I should have to do is say Gradle zips and it should build me a bundle just for the uh, for the Linux system And it's continuing to build the bundle. Hopefully it's nearing the end.
Okay, the build is done. It took 4 minutes, 17 seconds. Now, if I go here to my open JFX directory, you can see I have a bundles, well, open JFX build, and then there's a bundles directory, and this is the bundle. So now I'm just going to copy that, go back to my options directory, make it temp directory. Paste that in here, extract it here. Okay, and that's the overlay. So now I'm going to go to my images directory. This JDK J2SDK image is my Java, my open JDK8 build. So I'm going to copy this directory. Go back to my temp directory. Paste it here also. Rename the whole thing to OJDK8. I'm going to go in here and basically you cut you put the from the JDK from the J, from the Java FX SDK overlay. You copy things from corresponding folders in that director and put and put it into the corresponding folder in the open JDK directory. So bin here corresponds to bin here. And you just take these two and put them over here. Okay. And actually I wanna I want to undo that. I just want to copy them. Okay, now I go back to the JRE. Go to the JRE here. Control A. Copy. And I'm going to go to the lib directory here. And I'm going to paste this. I'm going to merge. I'm going to merge. Okay. Now I'm going back to the overlay. Back to the OJD K8. Now I'm going to the lib directory. Copy all of those, go to the lib directory here, paste these, go back to OG, the OJDK8, go back to the overlay, go to the man directory, copy these, go to the man directory in the OJDK8, and paste these. I'll just merge, merge, and that's it. That's all to transfer from the overlay, and so now this is a complete distribution with old with open 
Open JDK8 as well as the Open JFX. So that's it to compiling and building OpenJFX and OpenJDK8.